Hi, I'm Mick McConnell, Director of Client Services for Interbrand New York. I'm here with Rodney Hines, the Director of Community Investments and also the Executive Director of the Starbucks Foundation. Welcome, Rodney. Thanks. Thanks, Mick. I know Starbucks focuses their work on environmental stewardship, mm -hmm. um, ethical sourcing, mm -hmm. and community involvement. Your role primarily is community involvement. Yes. Can you elaborate more on exactly what that means for Starbucks? When we think about those three areas that you've identified, what it comes to for us is what does it mean for us to be a responsible corporation? And for the, the realm of community involvement, what that means for us is helping to create thriving communities wherever we do business. So that's everything from where we source our coffee, tea, and cocoa from to where we have a retail footprint. As we looked at our retail footprint around the world, with 17,000 stores around the world, nearly 200,000 uh, partners. When you look at that and you look at what's the potential impact we can have, it boggles the mind to think through what makes sense globally. How do you have relevance around creating thriving communities globally? Because it's it's got to be sort of global in nature to an extent, but also local in impact and relevance. On that note, how are you testing the market with local community involvement? One of the most critical ways is really we listen to our key stakeholders. We listen to nonprofit leaders from around the world. We also listen to our partners. Um, what's kind of exciting and interesting for us and exhausting for us is that 50% of our, of our partner base is 25 years or younger. And they've got a lot of energy and enthusiasm around the principles that we stand for for a business. So we get a lot of ideas and a lot of input from them and from their engagement. So how do we do that really with the listening piece and with the, having a continuous dialogue with them is that we will try things, we'll have conversations about what we're going to deliver and what we're going to do, but then we also go back for feedback. Mm -hmm. So there's this mm -hmm. continuous feedback loop that happens with all of our key stakeholders. What's the greatest lesson you've learned either in a classroom or in a boardroom? It's funny, when I, years ago, I worked for a consulting firm and quite often I had to facilitate big group discussions. And whenever I facilitated big group discussions, uh, I always went in um, with the notion of the answers are in this room. It's not my job to tell the answer. I need to facilitate the answers coming through. Right. And so one of the things that's, that feels evident at Starbucks at every, every level of whatever you're doing within the company is that you can't go at it alone. You've got to go in partnership and you've got to bring others along in the way that others own the outcomes and they own getting the work done. And I think what we do, because of the nature of what we do, um, be it on the ethical sourcing side, the environmental practice side, or in the community investments piece, the nature of what we do, we have to rely on our stakeholders. We have to rely on nonprofit organizations, nonprofit leaders, government leaders, and others to be partners with us to get to the change that we want to see. So don't go it alone. Don't go it alone.